Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. Now the title of the video is called Driving Test Tips and you're probably thinking or wondering that he's going to give us some secrets or he's going to give us some magic for us to pass the test. Now the truth is there is no secret and there is no magic for you to pass the test. The only way you are going to pass the test is by driving the car safely on the road without causing any problem. And from my view, the only way you are going to be safe on the road or you are going to be driving safely on the road is by reading the road well ahead, always be ready for the unexpected. Now, when you drive the car, there will be many problems on the road. There will be cyclists, there will be corners, there will be traffic lights, there will be many things, pedestrians, dogs, many things you will be facing on the road. Many times we face problems is because we are not reading the road well ahead. And the only way you're going to be safe on the road, like I said, is for you to read the road well ahead in advance. And if there's something happens, you're always ready for it. So, for example, you see a person um, walking with a dog on the pavement. And um, you could be thinking that that's not my problem because that person is not on the road. But if you don't read that person, that person could be a problem because you have to think if that dog is on a lid or not. If you don't recognize that and if the dog is not on a lid, it could run in front of you, it could just come on the road. Because you haven't read early, because you haven't read that person early, you are not ready for that person. So that's what I mean about reading the road well ahead and always be ready for the unexpected. So in this video, I will help you how to read the road well ahead and so that you are ready for the unexpected. I hope this video helps. First, I will explain and then I will show you how it's done in practice. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and let's start the lesson. Okay, the subject is driving test tips and the best tip I can give you for you to pass the test or for you to be a safe driver on the road is for you to drive by reading the road well ahead and always be prepared for the unexpected. So imagine this is your road that you're driving, this is your car. Always read the road, what's happening in front of you and around you. So you will face lots of parked cars, lots of parked cars big van, bus, maybe people walking on the pavement with children, with dog. And these are all your problems. When they do something different, it will affect your driving because if the person is here, wants to cross the road, if you don't recognize that person, that could be a problem for you. So it is your job to read the road well ahead, always in advance and see what's happening around and always deal with the problems early on. So for example, these are parked cars. What could happen? Door could open, car could move out. There's a van here, and in front of this van, there could be somebody who wants to cross the road. And as you're passing, if you're not thinking about the person here, there could be a problem. So as you're passing a van, always make sure that you always be prepared in case somebody in front of the van to cross the road, because if there is somebody standing in front of the van, you can't see the person because the van is too high and you can't see their head. If it's a normal car, maybe you could see the head. So if it's a big, bigger vehicle, always be prepared if there is somebody on the other side of the van or in front of the van to cross the road. If there was a bus, uh, just make sure that you keep the distance from the bus because if you go too close, you can't see anything what's happening in front of the bus. So if you go too close and all of a sudden the bus goes around, then you're going to be in trouble. Maybe the bus is overtaking the cyclist and because you don't have the distance, you're not going to have enough time to react or stop. So these are the problems you are going to face when you're driving. And the best way for you to practice when you're practicing to become a better driver is to read the road well ahead in advance. In another situation, maybe there's a traffic light. So you're driving here and you recognize the traffic light, which is green. Now, when you see green, you might just speed up, try to beat the traffic light. But what if the traffic light changes? If you don't read from here that there is a traffic light there and it's green, the question is, can I change? 
the answer is you could go to red so don't go in a way as if you are trying to beat the traffic light so go in a way as if it could change and if it does um, you have enough time to um, react so always think what's happening in the road and the problems that you are facing on the road and always deal with it before as we drive on this road uh, let's read the road as we drive along on this road we have plenty of parked cars on both sides which means we will be driving in the middle what could happen door could open car could move out so these are the things we should be thinking as we drive on this road. We have a road coming from the left. There is a red car. Did we see that? There is a car coming from the opposite. Do we have space for us to go? So these are the things we should be reading as we drive in these kind of roads. As we drive on this road, we just saw uh, some people crossing the road. Now we have a red car who wants to go right, which means we will be driving on the left because we are going straight. We see another person crossing the road. After that, we see a sign on the left saying roadworks coming up. And then the next sign saying road will narrow from the right because of the roadworks. As we drive on this road, we have lots of parked cars on the left, which means a door could open, people could move. Now we have two big vehicles. As we pass those vehicles, we must look if there is somebody waiting to cross in front of those vehicles because normally if it's a big vehicle, you can't see them from far away. So as you pass them, always be careful who's there in front of those vehicles to cross the road. And uh, as we drive here, we see a person with a dog. The question is, is the dog on a lid? If not, that could be a problem for us. As we drive on this road, uh, we, as you can see, we are now following a bus. Now, because the bus is a big vehicle, keep the distance because you can't see what's happening in front of the bus. So keep the distance so you could see more. Now we see the bus is turning slightly right. The question is why? Now we know there was a cyclist and the bus was actually um, overtaking the cyclist. So now you know why. It's best to keep the distance from the bus in front because you don't know what's happening in front. In this case, and there was a cyclist. Always read the road in front and what's happening around. In this case, as you can see, we are driving in a road where we are following a car in front. Now, the car in front looks wants to go left, as you can see, because it's signaling left now. Now, because he's going to go left, we will slow down a little. And as he goes left, what can you see? Did you see that car coming out? Because if you didn't, that could be a problem because we did have the priority, but the car just came out. So just always be ready for those unexpected. As we drive on this road, uh, we can see there is a traffic light coming up, which is green. Now, green means go, but is that mean it's not going to change? Now, if it's green, don't go in a way that uh, you are trying to beat the traffic light because green means it could change. So go in a way that if it does change, you have enough time to stop the car. As you go near it and it still stays green, you just carry on going. Anyway, hopefully I have given you enough for you to understand that reading the road well ahead is very important. Unless you read, you will not recognize the problems that are happening ahead or around you. Because the problems are not coming from the sky, it is happening in front or around you. Unless you read, you will not recognize those problems. And if you don't recognize, those problems are going to be your problems in the end. Okay, that's it for today and I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, please do make a comment what you think of the video. If you think this video helps, uh, do let me know please so I will make more of these kind of videos so it should help you uh, to prepare for the test because I really think um, these kind of videos will help you to prepare for the test more um, by reading the road well ahead. Uh, so if it does help, please do let me know on the comment. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so don't miss any of my future videos. And thanks for watching and bye for now and I'll see you on the next video.